And then when it's time for politics, they remember your banners. It's, it's nauseating, it's sickening. Because leadership is about standing for your people at any point in time, over and Alright guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being here. My name is TY and this is TY Vlog. So yeah, there is this G style for you guys. Not really gist like that, but I want us to learn. I want us to learn from Peter OB, this uh, Labour Party presidential candidate. Like I don't know that man before. I don't even know when he was a governor. Okay, so I wrote down some things that I've studied about him. I want to share with you guys. I don't know if you guys also share the same thing. Okay, let me know. 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 If you also share the same views as I share, there's some things I also learned about the wife. Okay, I'm gonna put that video up later. Okay, not today. Not today. Not today. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. 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 Let's be serious. So you guys here, yeah, welcome. Um, how you doing? As a area, if you're in Nigeria, how you doing? Okay. If you have Naira, please pass me some Naira. Oh, pass me some Naira. My dear friend, pass me some Naira. Hey, pass me some Naira. Oh, pass me some Naira. Oh, pass me some Naira. Oh, <laughs> Guys, I didn't plan that. That just came. My God, Niger. Woo! If you have some Naira now, like, gosh, you are a big man. In fact, you are the Zobu Zobu. Hey, Imba, hey, Master. Oh, you are the K. Uh -uh. In fact, you are the Bellonair. Oh, yeah, the cash. Like, Niger, if you have 1,000 Naira notes, like, cash, or 500, or 200, or 100 Naira, you're a big babe or guy, man. I'm telling you, no Naira. We are buying Naira, guys. Peter will be. Labour Party presidential candidate. Like, I got to know him when this campaign started from We Know They Give Shishi. Why do some people say you're stingy? It, it, it all depends on what you're stingy about. We Know They Give Shishi. We Know They Give Shishi. Public money must be used for public good. We Know They Give Shishi. We don't like shishi. It's not It's not bit of this first time. We don't like shishi. It's money meant to construct roads. We don't like shishi. We don't like shishi. It is money meant to rebuild the schools. We don't like shishi. We don't like shishi. It is money meant to provide health facilities and everything. We don't like shishi. And I'm like, what is the meaning of this? We know they give shishi. We know they give shishi. We know they give shishi. Okay. That means you don't give people money or you don't try to buy votes from people. Just vote for what? Character, competence, capacity, and uh, his first seal. I wrote it down. And compassion. Ah, and I'm like, okay. Can people see me trusted in this our Nigeria? And I'm like, okay, 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 okay. Let's see now. Okay. And a lot of the youth, okay, the youth community began to you know, come together. Hey, there is light at the end of the tunnel. God has finally done it, guys. Let's come around. Let's support our own. Let's do this. Let's do that. Ah, then he said this and that obedient moment came to be. And I'm like, okay, fine. And since that time, I've been watching him. Like, okay, is this is this a, a good leader? Truly, qualities of a leader he has to be compassionate. He has to be a listener. Like, leader, listen, 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 listen. Take it to her. Uh, uh, please, feel free. That's... 
Thank you. Hey, listen and say I have heard, even though you have not heard the answer. Listen and say I have heard. Not that don't talk to me, don't come to me. I'm not accessible. Bass, boost, boost, bad. You want to see me? Hey, hey, you have to pass through a different town wall that is blue and black, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> oh my god. And I saw consistency in his character, and I'm like, okay, 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 okay. And this new guy. Can you tell us how uh, did you get into mainstream uh, politics? Because quite a lot is flying around. It sounds more like this man just came from nowhere. And I want you to address that. How did you get involved in politics? Okay. Um, I got in politics um, by way of activism. Um, I understood the need for citizen engagement and citizen involvement when I uh, went against the federal government based on a, a policy, genetic modified foods, that we wanted to bring into the country, into our, into our agriculture chain. And I led the 2000 man march in the Senate. This is a period. Um, period of three years, right? This is not a one year thing, three years. I led a 2000 man march on the Senate and the senators that came out to address us lacked empathy, had no interest in actually in what the cause or the effect on these of this technology on the citizens would be. And all they kept talking about was how they were two time governors. Right? And I felt that we need more people with empathy and more people that have the heart of the people you know in mind to be in government so i came back to lagos and i got involved in politics i ran for local government chairman of the keja local government right so i'd not just come from anywhere i ran for local government chairman i run for senate of the senate of lagos west pdp in that race i had the most votes in lagos state pdp and i'm now currently the governorship candidate for labor party so this is yeah, fun of uh, yeah. um i'm calling him new because i just got to know him too and honestly i'm impressed i'm impressed that the youth are getting more active in this politics there are some of us that is only this mouth that we have so use it wisely some of you have this boldness the ability to be part of the political system to join a party like now a lot of persons have hope like they want to go and get the card for parties like they want to be actively involved they want to be a party member by what by having card like a correct bona fide you no know, because of this obedient movement and i'm like good we will get there one day hey it will take time but we will get there. we will get hey god tt no now don't start so guys part of the things that i wrote here is that um when they were campaigning okay a lot of us did not believe in this thing like and he said something today on arise tv he was like because i listened to that interview unlike me oh hmm, today i listened to interview like it's anytime he's talking i just like to listen to him the same thing with this grb this aspirant of governor of lagos state no under lp under the same labor party that the controversial everything was on the internet and everything was like ah and i said okay who is this person that they are talking about some people even talk to the person he's not the he's not ego he's not yoruba he's not ah and i'm like okay let me know more about him and the more i listen to him i see no sound people that can talk to you and you will understand okay ah we get them so about this our father this uh, toby go and verify okay people some people call him okute some call you know you guys know why they call him okute okay because he always have challenges and he always overcome it like a stone is strong is bold is fierce okay so go and verify means that everything he has done you can go and check his record his track records like he's not perfect but like he has just been exceptional okay so i started looking at him even when people did not believe him more and guys he has been consistent in his words he has been saying the same thing over and over we know they give shishi i don't need to beg you to vote for me just what trust me 
Pieshok. Believe me as an elder brother. Believe me as a father. Believe me that this journey, I'm totally committed to it. And I'll walk through with you. I know how disillusioned you are. Don't be. Because the people we're dealing with have made up their mind that we won't succeed. We have also made up our mind that we will succeed. Yeah. To deliver. Okay, let's fix it together. Those are his words. Okay, and he still said it today, and I'm impressed. Even though, yeah, the, the election came, it was not in his favor, you know, but yeah, he has hope, he has high hope, and still, he's still not. In fact, we'll get it, you know. I don't have any issue, okay, with other people, other um, aspirants. I don't have, like I said. It was because of this election or something. I started listening to all of them and all that. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. You need to learn from this person. In all of that, you will not see him insulting other people, calling their names, talking to backlashing like the way others are doing. Like today on Arise TV, when they asked him about other candidates and all that, about a particular one, and it was like, he tried not to call the name. And he said, you can even call him my senior brother that to him is a senior brother and that he respect that person too so much to the point that he can even call him a father that they don't have any issue it's only the process that led to that you know declaring him as the winner that he wants to challenge and i'm like good you should know how to put your words together as a leader so you watching me and you're aspiring to be a leader those are the qualities you should be a listener number one too you should know how to put your words together and you should know how to say no there are times they will ask him some questions he will say that um don't worry, we get there. When we get there, we know how to cross. That's, those are beautiful ways of answering. Not that, or bouncing people, or saying move to the next one. No, 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 no. No, he has a way of putting his words together, comporting himself. And I would say, salute, sir. Salute. Well done. Well done. So they asked him, they said, you have been going to churches for campaign and all that. He said, no, no, no. He said, a lot of persons have been saying that. He said, that's not true. That has always been a church person. And that there is no church that he has been to. Fine, we know. It's trying to identify it's part of a campaign strategy like we know but he has not come there come and say please so if you don't do this no we we as christian community we did it no he did not do that he only showed up when he had the opportunity to show up in the midst of you no know, a lot of persons that can identify with him and so there is no problem there is no problem about that you no know, we've seen other people you no know, copy his style to go to churches and all that of course we've seen okay but it's good that it's a pace setter. It's a pace setter. So he said it's not about religion and tribalism. In fact, he even did a kind of history that I've never heard before today. And I'm like, oh, it's good to also be educated, guys. <laughs> See this me that I'm looking for a job like this. I'm glad I went to school. It's a, an opportunity. I will never, never use my mouth to say, ha, ah, why did I even go to school for set? No, fine. I know I've not gotten the job of my dreams or whatever, but God has been faithful. That thing will still be useful. See, so this education. It's like he's doing a big job. <laughs> he's doing the last word. You know, and he also said something about Aisha Yesu. He said Aisha Yesu is not a member of Labour Party, like he's not a card carrying member. Okay, that a lot of persons are just for the obedient moment. They just want things to work in Nigeria. Okay. So um he also reacted to this experience something. You no, know, when they say experience, though know, they have been lashing by the ball, river roads that he doesn't have experience and all that. And he said they came into politics almost at the same time. The Labour candidate in Lagos remains the best candidate. He's through a thorough negotiation from a family that everybody is well known. His educational background, his age, everything is an impression. When I was campaigning to be governor of Anambra, I've never worked in government. I've never had anything to do with government. I was his age. I was just 39. By the time that the election took place, I was 41, 42. So I was at that age. And it was the same thing. People were saying, hey, who is he? He has never worked in government before. He has not done this before. 
The only experience they can claim is the same experience of corruption, experience of stealing. In fact, at times it's good to bring somebody who doesn't have that experience so he can, he can clean up the mess. I came in with other experience, and when they wanted to teach me the experience, I told them they are wrong. So the experience they have is the experience I'm trying to win. That's the structure they're telling you about. What you saw is challenging now is the structure we are saying, we have no structure, we have no structure. That's the experience. As far as I'm concerned, is at the right age, the right energy, the right educational background, whatever there is that you think is lacking, because of his exposure and everything, he'll be able to read it. A job of a leader is always listening and learning. And I did that, and we succeeded. And I did the same thing that you were also telling him then when he wanted to become the governor of a number of states that he doesn't have experience. And I'm like, what is the experience that you guys are actually talking about? Is the experience of corruption? There's something he said, I wrote it and said, claiming experience in failure. Like a lot of persons now that you see around all our OGs and all that. Ah, we have experience, experience in failure. What has worked now? What? Like I told you before, we are buying Naira. Currently, we are buying Naira. Naira is expensive. Guys, it's a lot. We are going through a lot. Pray for us in Nigeria. So, um, that's just it. So, he said, experience of corruption. He said, that is what they are claiming. So, why? Why? Why do you go all about saying people don't have experience and all that, trying to hide under, you know, say, trying to hide under ethnicity war or bigotry or whatever that does not exist? That people that voted for him, majority of them are not even from his tribe, which is true, it's obvious, okay? So, guys, that's just it. These are a few lessons I've learned from him. I love his calmness. Calmness. <laughs> I love his calmness. Calmness. We enjoy. And in all things, we give thanks to God. For me, number one thing is gratitude. C-A-L-M-N-E-S-S, -S, okay? Despite the bubble, up and down and all that, he's trying to put himself together. But the only thing I've noticed also about him is that, is that I don't know, maybe he has gray hair before, or maybe it's this campaign and this Waka Waka dance. Ah, like, eh? the Lord is his friend, okay? So, you guys, I don't know. If you have enjoyed this video, be cool like share and please subscribe let me know what you have learned from peter obi let me know what you have learned generally from this election process like electionary process in nigeria or this presidential election and this nas election this governorship one coming election generally in february 2023 to march 2023 what have you learned has it been an eye opener for you has it helped you in any way has it opened your highest opportunity do you have hope that nigeria will rise again let me know in the comments i'll see you guys in my next video, thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Sign out. Peace. Thank you. So let's get into it. Um, first and foremost, the conversation about your banners at this point, I think, is extremely. Especially by the people pushing it, I'm going to try not to. I'm going to try to be very diplomatic with my words. You see, the, I'm sure you're familiar as a Yoruba man. You're familiar with the story of Afonja. A man that betrayed his people based on his interest, which were, which was really selfish interest, which is why today Kwara State is not part of the Southwest. The Yoruba language in itself tells the story of the Yoruba people, the culture, its history. It's a very beautiful language, but that does not make up for leaders that sell their people out, leaders that when their people are being slaughtered all across the Southwest are quiet, like a mouse. Leaders that will go and visit the leader of Afenifer whose daughter was killed and ask where are the cows. Leaders that went to was time to put a motecum together, they were quiet. And then when it's time for politics, they remember Yorubanes. It's, it's nauseating, it's sickening. Because leadership is about standing for your people at any point in time, over any interest. And great leaders always did that. People like Awolowo did that, right? And this idea of language, I mean, you look at our generation today, my generation, generation coming after me, right? You find a situation where in this same Nigeria that we go at, the secondary school I went to, I went to ISL for some time. It was vernacular to speak Yoruba in school. You were punished for speaking Yoruba in school, right? 
So we also need to understand how we as a people need to appreciate our culture, our language, and bring it more to the fore, right? So that's one. Secondly, you're talking about cases. I, my, my, my candidacy is so clean right now, right? I've been to court.